Welcome once again to this session on how to join a new two cluster, a new two to an existing cluster. Okay, so what I'll basically be doing is let me just run you through. We have been able to create our node one. Don't forget, in our previous tutorial, we created node one, and in node one, we created a a a, a um. What's it called? We, in our node one, we created a cluster and we set the cluster up. Now we have been able to do the same in our node two. We we are able to create our node two, and after creating our node two, we were able to also set it up. Our node two. So let's go to node two and see. So this video this will be basically based on. How we can join this second node to the first node using the same you can do the same thing on the system manager but my mentor will always prefer me to do much on the c mode okay so now uh, let's see let's pre let's go with node show first and see our node okay fine our version fine our port show want to see our ports fine uh you it will be i was re recently deploying a fast 9000 um some days ago and we found out that only our port eoa was showing was um we have e4a rather that was on cluster the e so the part we need for for cluster was on default so we have to do Port modify and change the MTU to, to bring the port to a cluster. So that's why I had to check here to be sure that the port we'll be using for our interconnect is going to is actually on is uh, the IP space is for cluster already. So let's proceed to our cluster setup. Yes, okay. Node management port. So we go with E0C IP address 192.168.154. We add 101 for our node 1 management. So we'll use 102 here. Net mask, they have to be on the same 255.255.255.0. Gateway 192.168. Eight dot one five four dot one. Great. So the we have an IP already to manage our node, which is this one zero two. But we want to proceed. We are going to so we we'll go to join. Now since you know while we are doing node one, we are creating the cluster in node one. We created a cluster. Now we are going to be joining now. We're joining so i type join yes so i need to tell it yes so we need the ip that was why i said we should keep this ip earlier this ip that i asked you to keep it also keep earlier you notice this is the IP that I asked us to keep earlier. So this is the IP for joining node one. So we have one nine two dot. Okay, sorry, it's not one nine two. It's one six nine. One six nine dot two five four dot eight two. Okay, I need to no okay, sorry, 92184. 92184. It has to be correct. 192.184. Let me confirm 169254. Okay, let's confirm 169254.92.184. Correct. So we go. So we wait for this to perform. It's going to do all that it needs to do. But while you are doing this, make sure your node one must be up and running. 
while you're doing this. You see, my node one is up and running. Um, and you see, while I run, I ran this command, it's showing me only one node as active here. You can see on tap tutorial 01, that's our node name, is one. So by the time it's this is joined as joined, you would see I'll run the same command and you see the difference. In our next tutorial, we'll be learning how to use the system manager. All that I've done here, um, using the C mode, using the command line, I can also do the same using the system manager. This is the initial setup of every um, on -top, net -up, on tap device. The initial setup, it's once in a life most, time, most of the time. So you're waiting. I intentionally did not pause the video so you can see the process. By the time you can do this, then you can be sure you are getting closer to uh, deploying a machine on your own. Yeah, you're getting close to that. Okay, starting. Okay, good. Can you see? You see that it did not ask me for any other thing. So let's just see. Okay, let's run. Let's before I go to let me let me take it from here. Let me take it from my node one. Okay, sorry. Um okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, node one. This is my node one. You see, when I ran the cluster show command earlier, it was giving me only on top to a one. So let's run the same the same command again, cluster show. So fine and good. We have on top tutorial 01 and on top tutorial 02, 02. And the two are healthy. You understand? So we have been able to successfully join um, the two together. Um, let's see. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm supposed to run storage, fill over, show. Okay, because we are using, um, actually we are using that tutorial. So it's not going to be able to, but ideally it's supposed to, because um, if you go back to our, uh, uh, our guide, the guide already told us that there is that limitation that you may not have actually did not follow the guide too much because I can maneuver some things. Okay. I was, okay. There is this part on this manual. This, um, okay. Where we, where it's mentioned that, uh, it does not the the on tap on tap uh, the on tap simulator does not support failover. Well, but in 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 actual sense, it does. In when you are deploying life, the life machine, you by the time you run that command, you should be able to see um, that storage node one is failing over to node two, and node two is failing over to node one. Okay, so great. Uh, okay, so let's go and the first thing we need to do is to run local where, okay, we'll do that in our next tutorial, um, how to disable snapshots. Um, let's move on to 
let's go to our node 2 and conclude what we need to do cluster show and be sure fine we're good here we're good here so our cluster is ld uh, in the next tutorial uh, i'll be showing you how to set dates and time date and time yes it's very important date and time because if you're using um this if you're using this uh, simulator you know let's let's assume you post it now you post this simulator you suspend your vm and it's let's say i suspend today and next week i'm bringing it up my simulator will not update the date and time no it will still be holding the date of last week hope you understand that so for example if i show date here can you see the date here is actually october 22 this but in the next tutorial i'll be showing you how to set date and time so how to change the date and time uh, uh join me in the next tutorial and i'll show you how to set date and time on your uh, on tap simulator like i uh, i said in other tutorials if you're a storage administrator and um, you are looking out to get support for your netap devices netap storage servers uh we are your best shot if is your we we can get you support anywhere in the world remote uh on-prem support we, for anything you want to bring cloud to your cloud storage aws e azure gcp you want them to come you want to manage them we can get that running for you you want to manage them on your own tab we can get that running for you all you need to simply do is to come to our website at e4 come to contact us and send us a message real quick we'll get back to you and we'll get the conversation started thank you very much for watching hope you are practicing hope you're practicing i'll see you in the next tutorial bye